Hello everyone, and welcome back to the Janu tribe. We are here at Mother's Roost, or Mother's Inlet, which you could argue is the heart of our tribe, since it is one of the few places on the island that we have found that have any nest. And we actually have Sira on top of the nest, going to go ahead and have another baby. I believe that the father of this baby is going to be Kula. We are trying to make sure Kula can pass on a few more of his genetics before he passes away, just because our male to female ratio is still a a little bit alarmingly low. We have had a lot of girls. However, there are some major twists in the family tree that seem to be trying to fix that, and that include what has happened to Siana and her sister Siriana. These two were some of our scouts who were headed out, and they were exploring some of the grasses, trying to find anything of use and substance over here. They bumped into a predator and managed to scurry away, but they also ended up bumping into a rogue male who who left them both with expecting bellies. So they are currently trying to find a nest of their own. They just don't feel like they want to go back to the tribe. They have started on a whole new journey. This is totally different from anything that any of their family members have ever done. And they just feel like they need to strike out on their own and they can rely on each other and they're going to have to find a new home together. So these two are pushing into the grasses. They may finally, after so many days and so many uh, generations and babies of kind of us having to stay here because this is where our nests are, they may finally push far enough and deep enough we might get a foothold in somewhere further in on the island. Right now, Okima and her sister Ravera are also trying to scout all of the streams and rivers that we have along here. And they're doing a good job of catching the fish now and then. I don't know how we did it, but we actually ended up hunting one of the clown koi. Even though those little, those little guys right there, who are kind of amazing, by the way, should technically not be able to be harvested unless your fishing skill is high enough and both of the girls only have one fishing skill so hmm we might have to try building up the fishing skill higher on some of our creatures in the future meanwhile we have Rovan Duke over here still exploring with his beloved sister Sikoko somehow Sikoko has ended up becoming sick so the idea of being able to have her go out and be able to have children of her own is probably not going to happen but she dearly dearly loves her brother's children and her brother has Rico as his mate and they have had Roku and Mimila as their children and he has also taken Izanako who is the deeply dearly beloved brand new yet deep 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 best friend of Sikoko he also is going to have a child with her in just a moment too so we're going to see how this is going to play out on the cliffside family tree so we've got a little little river little um little river right here a little beautiful waterfall and the waterfall nest to go next to it I really love it it's quite pretty I'm hoping as we explore the island we will find even more amazing things here. You can see where Ariali kind of spent the last days exploring this beautiful little patch where we've got the tree and we had a whole bunch of fish frolicking down here. We couldn't quite catch them and we ended up having like this little islet that she could explore. So yeah, there's a lot to do. There's a lot to do and let's start by seeing what the new baby is going to be. And, oh yes, this is what I was hoping for. Little Nuro, a boy, a male who happens to have the venomous fangs and pretty good strength. He's got big body and poison fangs. Otherwise, he has normal eyesight, good, big body, poison fangs, B and A immunity, panda pattern, and normal blood clotting. Oh my gosh, he's the perfect child. Thank goodness we finally have a healthy little baby boy so he can help us pass on some of the family genes for sure. We'll have to keep an eye on him. Why did this crab just kill over dead? Does somebody have like some sort of skill where the crabs are going to start dying? We're going to have to keep an eye on that. And then Tsunami is over here. And oh, that's right. Konami actually can't help with hunting crab. That's kind of frustrating. All right. And let's see. I'm going to have, we've got, let's see. Let's see. Can I get... Get another Dodo Mingo! We literally just killed a Dodo Mingo who took over their nest. That's so annoying. Rico! Oh my gosh, really? Rivera, will you help us out, please? Oh my gosh. You guys, that makes two Dodo Mingo who have stolen the waterfall nest. I need to get Izanako in that nest to have her baby ASAP. All right, and now we have Rokuno, Rokunu, and he has cracking. So I'm actually gonna send him over here. He can gather up from this berry bush um, and we'll have her search this rock. Mimila is helping out by searching that little rock. But Rokunu is actually gonna move from up here to down here to help us search for these clams. I feel like these clams are becoming a 
better source of food for our creatures. Um, let's see if we can get the two siblings. They, they usually do a little bit of joint hunting that way. Oh, and see, Coco's gonna pass away. Oh, I'm gonna have her come up and rest up here. So her final moments are going to be next to her friend, Izanako. I, I have a feeling we're gonna end up with like see Coco Co named after her. Oh, and Izanako and see Coco, they, they have Co's on the ends of their names. That's just so sweet. All right, and then let's see what we're gonna do over here. Who am I gonna move around? Hmm, Tsunami, you can stay. He can't really do anything. Uh, and then Dusk, you need to not be sick, please. But he's got really good collecting, uh, but he's short-sighted and he's unhealthy, unfortunately. That's kind of some of his drawbacks. I'm going to leave him here. He's kind of uh, sticking around and occasionally he looks for clamshells, but he sticks around to try to help take care of the newborn babies and watch after all of them. So new Kuvan... Hmm, I can send you Kuvan over here to kind of sit next to him. And then same and Meido, Meido over here is amazing. She's a big fighter. She's got a lot of strength. She's got a little bit of cracking and fishing. She's going to go in and try to help out with continuing the deer family's attempts to run away quickly. Run away. Oh, there we go. Up we go. Oh no, we just we just explored it. Oh wow, yeah. At least we found a tree trunk. <laughs> The ladies have managed to pull that much off, even if they have nothing else. They're not able to do much else just yet. Oh, hang in there, ladies. Hopefully, we'll find them a nest soon. And Okima, she can actually survive underwater. Oh, there's another. Yes, finally. And there's some fish. So she can gather up some fish and berries. And we'll do a little exploring along here. And Rivera was trying to help out remove the Domingo from the nest. So that's why we don't have Rivera getting anything. And then we've got uh, Misri, who's going to do a bit of exploring because she's got decent strength. So we'll start sending her up here. Go away, Domingo. And then Anado is now pregnant once more, so we'll have her pop up into the nest. And Duskberry, I'm going to have her come over because she is kind of in love with Kula, and they're at the end of their life, so I'm going to be okay with them having another child. Uh, man, this male-to-female ratio is kind of, uh, kind of nerve-wracking. We'll see how that goes. All right, so let's see what happens over here. We lost her! See Coco! Oh, she just passed away so suddenly. How is Ravantu going to take it? That was his sister, his beloved sister, who he's been with for so long. We're going to let Izanako come in and wait in the nest. Oh, Rovan Duke, I'm so sorry. And he doesn't have much longer for this world, too. No, why? Oh, man. Oh, and why is this... Why do the, the Kravitz just sometimes fall over dead without warning? I'm not sure I get that. All right. We'll go ahead and start clearing away some of this. And over here... Oh, my. This predator is definitely chasing these two... Oh, poor pregnant females. <laughs> no way! Oh my gosh, the, uh, the scout sisters have just stumbled on someone who might be able to defend them. Oh, it's Lara, a female. I was hoping it was another male, but this is actually a female. Um, she's got hemophilia though, so I don't think she'll be able to help us. <laughs> I think that it's just another stranger for these two to kind of bump into. And at least, okay, we got up here. They still can't find, we're finding berry bushes, but we still can't find a nest. They're desperately running and just trying to get out of the way. So I don't know if we want... If we didn't really want to invite that stranger in, I don't think. Maybe we could have and had her, like, exploring the area with us. Oh, gosh. Well, she's right down here in the water with us if we wanted to change our mind. Uh, Laura, do you have any useful skills? She's got normal eyesight, no paw, hemophilia, D and F, which we already have. But I guess she could help us scout around here. So let's get her up out of the water. And can you help us find a nest? Maybe she's taking pity on the, the two females that she just found. And she's going to try to help us find a nest. And then Rico, we're going to have you come down here and become pregnant. Because we don't have much longer for Rovan Duke. It's going to be hard for me to lose him. I really like Rovan Duke. And then Reyna here can help out with doing the dual attack. There we go. On the Krabbits, which is quite nice. And uh, there we go. Konami can gather up some of the clams. See, so we're starting to have a little bit of balance because we're sticking sticking by the waterway. But I just wish we could get a little bit further away. I think Masiri is going to help out with that. So we just we aren't finding anything that would make it possible. Duskberry, we'll go ahead and have another baby with you, because oh no, Duskberry, wrong direction. Why? <laughs> All right, come on, little one. 
Let's get Mito out of the way. Uh oh. And we're gonna have to outrace. I'm gonna actually come over here and we'll have uh, Kokluma stay there to defend that nest for Duskberry. All right, and let's have little Nuro. He would be a good explorer too. I wanna get him in on the island. It's good to see that he looks a lot like his father, Kula. Uh, and we're gonna scoot him over here. And Sira, I feel like she'd be a good scout from this point. So I'm gonna send her this direction. Um, and she's gonna say goodbye to Kulu, Kula and then get ready to start moving. And Dusk is gonna stay here uh, to continue protecting the babies, but Nukuvan is actually old enough and strong enough now that he can start doing some exploring. So he can't, he can swim, but he can't survive underwater. So I'm going to have him go up along the beaches and see if we can find anything that way. And then Tsunami, you can actually attack those little crabbit things, can't you? So let's scooch him over here. All right, wonderful. So we've got some of them lined up. And then Anado, I think Anado is about ready to move on. She just had a pretty healthy baby. Oh, Rogu, wonderful, another male, another male with the venomous fangs. Oh, thank goodness, I could probably put venomous fangs away. What would I focus on? Maybe having spiky body? Um, I feel like having bigger eyesight or like better, better hearing may help us out. So I'm gonna put big ears in now and also claw still because we're starting to try to explore inland. We don't have a very stable supply of food. So that's kind of what we need to focus on now. Anado, you have really good collecting. You're about to pass away, aren't you? Uh, she had a healthy baby with Roku there. So that was a good gamble by mating her with Kula. Um, I'll see if I can take that gamble one last time with her. All right, there we go. And let's see what Rovan Duke's child is going to look like with this is Anako, the dear, dear friend of the wonderful Sisiko, uh, Sikoko, who she was wonderful friends with. Oh, and it's a little spiky body girl, Sikora. Oh, that's even a perfect name for her. So she does have short-sighted eyes, but she's spiky bodied. Ooh, can we get those fish? I don't think we can get those fish, but I would love to get those fish. But she's spiky bodied. That's so cute. Okay, so she's our first spiky body creature born on this island. She's got really good strength too, and cracking and fishing. I think she was made for this area up here. That's gonna be wonderful. And let's see how, oh, the predators are still following us. Oh my gosh. Do we have any luck with the nest over here? A little old lady. Lara is spending some of her time trying to help us. Um, and let's go ahead and try to get away. We're just running and running to get away from that predator. Is there seriously no nest anywhere? We're finding a bunch of tree trunks. What's the point of moving inland if we don't have any nest at all that would be able to help us out? This is ridiculous. And we're not really having any any plants or anything either. This is, this is kind of ridiculous when it comes to trying to give our creatures the opportunity to, uh, to like, thrive, spread around the place, have some babies. Uh, I guess we could take a swipe. New, New Van Koo can probably go ahead and swipe at that Dodomingo. Why not? And then Sira, she's going to do that little bit of exploring. And Kula, I'll have him just kind of step back. He already took Anado as a mate. And let's get the baby Roku out of the way. Anado can pop back up into the nest. No, you don't, Dodomingo. You better get away. I guess Dusk could go ahead and chase down the Dodomingo. He is in charge of kind of helping defend um, the mother's roost, after all. And I think that they're all fed up with the, flam the flamingo, the dodomingo taking the nest. All right, and then Koanami can come over here and gather this up. And then anything else? Reina, we can send you over here to kind of search for things. Tsunami can come over, and you two can help out doing the tag team on this crabbit again. All right, and Rovan Duke, it's eyesight really for our creatures who are in charge of the waterways, isn't it? That seems to be super important. And we'll move Rico up here. And then let's see, Rokunu with that collecting ability, but there's nothing to collect over here really. Like not really at all. So I don't really see a point in, let's see, can I gather up that fish? <gasps> I did manage to get that fish. It's almost like you have to get up on top of the clownfish. And if you can get on top of the clownfish in the water, you can get them. Noted. Can I manage to pull that off with uh, this guy too? 
Yeah, look, if you jump straight on top of the clownfish, you actually get a good supply of water, or a good supply of food, not water, sorry. I was thinking how you have to get into the water to do that. So, hmm, good to know. I'm gonna continue to explore, and that means that this patch of food suddenly looks a lot more appealing. You just have to be willing and able to actually jump on it. So, Koklama, um, hmm, she does have the cracking ability. She does have fishing and underwater breathing. I guess if you just jump straight on top of the fish, that's one of the options you can do. And then, let's see, Mido. I think Mido is ready to jump in and start doing more exploring too. We're just not finding anything in land, like at all. Look at all of the areas we've looked over. There's no nest. There's not really any berries. We could end up starving on this island. We would have to go to the harder island just by virtue of, I don't know if there's enough food because we lack so, we lack like any any berries really. I'm not gonna harvest the berries off of the uh, the cactuses because that's just asking for trouble. All right, is that everybody? I think that's pretty much everybody. Uh, Konami has excellent movement because of her swimming ability. Do we have any more, any more delicious clams? And the more creatures you have spread out and the more they can see, the easier they can move around too. All right, so let's see what these babies are gonna be. And then I'm really worried about our two running mothers. <gasps> Look at those big old fluffy ears. Oh my gosh. Oh my goodness, Isla. Isla, who unfortunately does have doubled up immunity, but she is quite interesting. So she is very interesting with those big giant ears that have added a bit of hearing. I wonder if she'll be able to help see a little bit further around the place as a result. Gosh, she's cute. Oh my gosh, I love that. And then we have little Roku, who's probably pretty proud to be able to run around with the big kids. And Nuru, who's probably old enough that we can start sending them, but where? No! Sira, why? Go away, go away. We don't want you, you here. Like we seriously don't. Nukuvan, help defend the tribe. Oh, I can't believe I did that. Sometimes I really take to those rogue males and I want to keep them with me forever and sometimes you just realize you just can't put up with them. Alright, I did a little bit of fishing there. So that's with Mido. We'll get her across the waterways. And then we've got Koklama. Can she do? Yeah, she can actually swim straight up the stream. And we lost one of our males. So this is getting kind of hard because it, ooh, 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 there's, there's a berry bush at least of some type. But this is getting a little bit tricky. And let's go ahead and move Rico up. And Izanako, I'll go ahead and have you get pregnant once more. Because I'm a little bit worried. We're about, yeah, we're about to lose Ravon Duke. And that's going to be so hard emotionally. <laughs> I'm going to miss him. Uh, and then let's see. Rokunu, who's his son, I think we'll send down this direction. So if we can jump on top of the koi, then you actually get to eat the koi. So that's something we have learned. And Ravira, her whole life's purpose is to kind of help clear away a lot of these grasses and help discover the, the lands and uncover them. So she's where she needs to be. All right, let's check in on our fishing female. Uh, Ukima has found this very rare berry bush. We're beginning to realize this is an exceptionally rare thing to find. Uh, our very old rogue female, Lara, is trying to help out our two pregnant females to be able to find maybe somewhere to go or maybe something. We found a berry bush at least. Maybe a nest that they can, they can have their babies in. Look at how much of this area is lit up and there is nothing that they can have their babies in. Oh my gosh. I just, I can't believe this. We can come all the way down here. I guess we can have them run along the beaches. That's just the last option I have for these two. And they can work their way over to this nest. We're really low on nest and we're really low on things like berry bushes. I didn't expect that. Normally we're like overflowing with berry bushes and we don't have to worry about it. Uh, little Nuro, I guess I'm just gonna have them all start exploring towards this direction just to see if I can find anything over there. So he's gonna join the family headed that way. Duskberry is going to stay here with the babies and then Dusk can at least gather up some of the clams and he can guard the babies too. Uh, yeah, Duskberry doesn't really need to go very far. She can maybe step over here. I was trying to see if there were any clams, but nope. No clams over here. Konami already moved around looking for the same thing. And then we have little Isla and Anna Jo is about to pass away, so I'm just going to leave her with her baby. Alright, and then over here 
We have Tsunami working with Reina to collect up some crabbits. And I guess the problem is you really have to wiggle pretty hard to convince a crabbit to turn around. Um, huh. So this is getting kind of tricky. Oh, look at that. That's so cool to see Rokunyu inside of the waterfall, though. Hmm. Yeah, so I'm beginning to think we may have to just gear up to leave for the big island pretty soon and see if we could survive over there because there's nothing that we have found so far in this section of the explored island but maybe I just need to explore it a little bit more so we're gonna have to see we're gonna have to see all right let's come over and see what these babies are gonna be we have Anna uh, from Rico and I kind of oh she's got such excellent collecting and she has cracking maybe we will end up sending her over here because we do have a couple oh there's the big bird there's that big old bird, but old lady Laura, who's trying so hard to help, to help those two females manage to find, um, manage to find a good nest to have their babies in. Oh dear. And meanwhile, we're like constantly endlessly running, uh, over here. Okay. Come on. You can get over to your sister. There you go. You two. And now you two can actually help each other to remove the, the leeches and to get down here. They're headed in a dead run for this nest now because we couldn't find anything in the grasses. But maybe we just need to explore it more? I'm just not sure. All right, Okima, we can do a little bit of fishing and she can do more fishing and we can just gather things up. Okima has kind of got a good little niche right over there that she's safe in. And then we can also clear that away. Mimila is kind of having a conversation with this crabbit while she just sits and guards it. So she can send her little sibling over to her too. And then we have Anna. Yeah, Anna was born. Oh, and her father passed away. I'm so sad about that. <laughs> oh, Enrico's going to step over here and gather up some berries. Why is Anako stays with her nest sister and guards the baby. And so without further ado, Rokunu, who can't even get any fish. Oh, I thought he could get fish and he can't get fish. Rokunu is now taking his father's place in charge of that side of the tide pools. Also, why did that crabbit die? Do crabbits die if you just attack them once and you just wait a little while? That would be very useful to know. Uh, but yeah, we'll just, we'll have to leave them be. All right, and we'll continue exploring for more crabbits over there. Oh, thank goodness. Look at that. Konami managed to find some clams. And then little Isla, her mother just passed away and always dreamed of bigger things, bigger, slightly more aggressive and violent things, like being able to explore the land and really conquer some of the creatures. Uh, so maybe she can come over here and help out with these, these guys in a little bit. So I'm not sure you guys, like I said, we're getting to a point where I'm finding it very, very interesting. There we go. Lots and lots of fish to gather up. And then Nukrovan, he can do, he can do nut collecting. You know what? Maybe we need to focus on the nuts. Maybe that's where I have sort of fallen flat on my face is ignoring our precious trees when normally I'm so obsessed about trees. So let's get Mido over there too. I think we might be onto something here. All right, and I wonder what happens if you use an attack on a crabbit when you have venomous fangs. There's another thought. All right, and Dusk, you're going to stay here to take care of the babies. But Roku, I guess we could send him too. We might have to have a sudden, like, a about face of some of our little ones because we may need to return to the mother's nest uh, to guard them pretty soon. But I think that should be good. And Laura over here, old lady Laura, is just trying to help those two old, those two poor girls find themselves a good nest to have their babies in. It's kind of hard because <laughs> there's no nest. But if we literally can't really find anything to harvest from or anything to gather here, we may actually start picking out our strongest creatures and move on to the, the third and hardest island a lot sooner than I thought because this may be really difficult to survive on if we don't have a lot of berry bushes. So we might have to change how we play um, or we might have to... Here, let's move little Roduke Duke over here and gather up these berries with Dusk. There we go. Yeah, we might have to change how we play or we might have to focus primarily on water creatures or we might just have to jump to the next island and see what it manages to generate for us. So I'll see you guys next time. Bye bye.